What's up, what's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream today. We're going to start very, very soon. I hope you all are having a great Friday. Is it Friday already? This week has gone by pretty, pretty fast. So today we're going to be playing some Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I am very, very much looking forward to it, so I hope you all are as well. Just give it a few moments and we will start. Hey, Kimmy, how you doing? Gary, welcome. Welcome, Damon. Renee, Britt. Welcome. In association with Vortex Incorporated, powered by the Unreal Engine, April 1973, tragedy and despair have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores is seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago, but with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister Ana Flores and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's disappearance would pale in comparison to the agony and despair they would soon discover. What awaited this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You can feel the creepiness, right? All right, so thank you to the developers for actually getting this for me. Hold on a sec. I was chewing on a starburst and I was sounding like thank you for the developers. So thank you to the developers for providing the key for me. So this is the PC version. Uh, if you have Game Pass, you can actually get the Xbox Series X version uh, for free. Well, not free. You got to have Game Pass, but um, very easy to play on that if you want to do the console version. But this is the PC version I decided to do here for streams. So, uh, yeah, understand that there's going to be bugs. Probably it's it's uh, just like with every game. You got to say this about every game at this point that there could be things that happen that uh, are out of your control. So um, obviously this is the first day. So servers might be bogged down. I mean, it could be tough getting into games. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, we're just going to find out now. This is from the developer that did uh, Friday the 13th. And you guys remember we played that extensively. Um, a bunch of years ago, about, what is it now, eight years? Whoa! Was that around 2006? When did that game come out? Oh my gosh, was that around 2016, 17? Maybe one of you guys can look back in Strain's catalog and see when I was actually playing Friday the 13th. I can't believe it's been that long. Wow, yeah, it could have been maybe 18, 17 or 18? Somewhere around in there, I don't know, but it's it's been quite a while since uh, their last game, and of course, what happened with their last game was they that the original owners that lost the rights, the original owners that had the rights to Friday the 13th, uh, lost them to the original writer. And because of that, then 
it screwed Friday the 13th up because then he they no longer have the rights to be able to continue to work on the game. So they had to stop production on the game after it had been already released, of course. But they couldn't do updates. They couldn't do anything like that. And 2017, man, I can't believe it's been six years. But um, yeah, so this is they're on to their next thing now where they have rights to show off the game and there's no problems coming to that. So I'm on Steam, of course, if you got the game on Steam and you want to join, you know, join. Uh, let me know and then we'll get you added on Steam here and then we'll play. So this screen you're just going to see when we're going through the menus and then the game will be in full screen whenever I actually load up a match. So... I am actually playing this in ultra wide, but I am streaming this in uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio for everybody. Um, uh, hopefully, that'll make it uh, easy for all of you. I'm going to enable DLSS, even though I don't really think I need to because I have an RTX 4090. I don't think it's it's something I need to do, but let you guys see. None of this really has changed since the beta or the technical test, I believe. Uh, but everything's set up to the highest it possibly can. Uh, control wise, um, let's take a look at the controls here real quick. Uh, I don't remember if I used a uh, mouse, keyboard, or controller when I did the technical test. I might switch between both just to see which ones um, work better uh, because, you know, that's we want to make sure we have the, the easiest of control. So we got a sprint burst, you got moving, uh, interact is with E, uh, select left pocket, select right pocket, one and two, use item Q. Run is shift. Um, so that's the biggest thing is the speed burst. I don't think I ever took really advantage of. Push to talk, crouch, camera camera shoulder. That's a sneak attack. Uh, use star sign ability. But we'll see how this goes. That's with the victim's family. Um, as we get into a few matches here, you know, uh, we'll, we'll get into the controls and get better and better. So the first few matches might be a little hard. Um, but... Once we get back kind of into the swing of things, I think it'll be okay. Game-wise, English, uh, subtitles on, crossplay is on, which I'm, I really love that. Tutorials, let's take a look. So uh, we're just going to take a look really at the f uh, how to play as the family and how to play as the victim so you guys can get an understanding. There's also tutorials on how to play specifically as every single character, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, all kinds of awesome tutorials here, so let's check it out. You're part of the family now. It's up to you to secure the property and stop victims from escaping. The family's way of life depends on it. Keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed, trapped, or guarded. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box, and the water valve pump. The status of these items play a huge role in whether or not victims will have an easy path to escape. Make sure to collect blood from drainage buckets scattered around the map, or by attacking victims directly. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. The stronger he is, the more powerful his sonar ability will become. Pretty soon he'll be finding and highlighting victims for the whole family to see. Feed Grandpa enough, and he'll give the family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Remember, Grandpa is the best killer that ever was. Hunt down the victims using abilities and teamwork. Look for signs of movement and listen for noise. Pay attention to your surroundings and keep your eyes and ears open. You never know where one of those victims might be hiding. Speaking of abilities... Each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Careful though, some abilities have limited quantities while others are on a cooldown. So hunt wisely. Once you locate or find a victim, make sure you have a plan. Try to set up ambushes or catch them off guard. The direct approach isn't always the best, so use your fellow family members when possible. Once your plan unfolds and you get them within range, hit them, then hit them again. And remember, if you do manage to successfully hit or execute a victim, take that blood to Grandpa. He's hungry and needs his strength in order to help you. Oh, don't let a single victim escape. After all, we win as a family or we lose as a family. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, that's going to be so much fun. I don't believe any of these have um, voiceovers or whatever, but maybe throughout the stream we'll go over each one so you guys can see. Now, uh, let's take a look at the victim. You've been captured by the Slaughter family. Tied up, tortured, and left for dead. You must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs. Find your friends. Hunt for life-saving items like tools, bone scrap, and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. The family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly and carefully to avoid making excessive noise. Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. Take cover behind tall objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment to your advantage. Wall gaps, crawl spaces, and unique hiding spots like freezers, armoires, and even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. Watch out for objects that make noise. Moving too fast through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location. So stay calm and move quietly. The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks on doors. Health items can heal you. While bone scrap can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These items can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry two items at a time, so choose wisely and try to plan ahead. Unlock exits. The heavy metal doors almost always lead out of the basement. Find and open them. Once upstairs, keep moving if possible. There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges of the property, so find a way to open them. Some escape objectives, like the fuse box and water valve pump, require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property. Be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest option, if you can get there. The water valve gate and the basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate them. The basement door requires you to find and repair the fuse box, while the water valve gate needs the pressure valve handle to open. Once fixed, the escapes will open up for you and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. Used at the right time, they can mean the difference between life and death. Be careful, though. Star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse, so plan wisely. Remember, you have been captured, beaten, and tortured, so your injuries are severe. You need to escape before you succumb to your wounds. As the match continues, you will start to bleed out more and more. Be wary of leaving blood trails behind. You can be tracked. Health items can slow this process, but you can't stop it. Escape is the only option. Finding fellow victims and working together is recommended, but not required. Grouping with teammates can have a multitude of advantages, but your total noise output might also increase. Choose your strategy wisely. The only question is, who will survive? And what will be left of them? Ooh. Oh man, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, we're gonna obviously we're gonna be playing this for a while, so I just want you guys to you know check out the streams uh, when you can that are live. Um, I plan on doing some uh, tutorial videos just like I did during the technical test, uh, showing you some of my strategies that I learned throughout my playtime with uh, live or while I'm live. You know, just kind of as we play the game, we get better, obviously, and we'll learn about it. And um, I'll show off some some tips and stuff. That's what this channel really is mostly about is uh, walkthroughs and, you know, giving tips and stuff and, and trying to help you guys out there become better players in whatever we play. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, let's see the customization that we have. This is something we really couldn't get into uh, during the technical test. And yeah, so as you can see, there are now more family members. It's still the same. Um, victims but now there are more family members uh, we have two new ones called sissy 
and Johnny, which we've never been able to actually experience. So I look forward to checking those out. Of course, we did play as the cook and the hitchhiker and Leatherface. And then um, it looks like we have the same characters. So here it looks like you can switch between the different characters and see what their stats are, toughness, strength. This will really help you because some in or some victims are better at say uh stealthing stealthing maybe some ha are better at running some better you know they have different attributes and, and strengths and weaknesses that actually can aid so if you get with a team of people that that you're familiar with like a group of friends then you want to strategize okay i'm going to take the speedy guy and then you know and and there's all types of strategy you don't just want to go in there and just try to survive it's always better to work as a team in my opinion um but you got to make sure you find people that agree so the feature is currently locked play more so once we play a little bit more we'll be able to do loadouts skill trees same thing cosmetics you've got original okay so anna used for the first time okay so once we unlock anna or once we use anna once then we'll have different outfits to select so that is q uh okay that's because it's selected on her right yeah so yeah let's go ahead and jump into a game and we'll just see how it goes uh, i think for scare purposes we're going to start as a victim because i really feel like i want to frighten you guys uh at the beginning here this is our first match because once you do start to play a little bit more obviously the scare factor is going to go down a little bit so let's start as uh, a victim so that we can you know just uh jump right into it and remember guys if you want to support the channel please do so by becoming a patreon and all that because it really 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 helps So, as we got Connie, we got Leland, and, uh... There we go. I put on push to talk so that I don't annoy everybody, of course. Alright, so it looks like we're playing as Connie. And from what I can tell, you still... Maybe you do pick. Maybe you select on the character screen who you want to choose as. There you go. So we're going to be... We'll, we'll, we'll start out as Connie. Yeah, if you're not on a team, always going at it alone is probably better. If you're not familiar with the people that you're playing with or you don't like their play style, then definitely, you know, do it yourself and try to escape. But I would say never. Um oh, I need to level up. How do I level up? Where's the level up? Uh, ready. It's my bad. All right, this is our first match, everybody. So go gently. We might die pretty quick. The city of Lexington, Texas, with horrific depictions of famine and the macabre. Nearby active officers may involve remote Odessa sheriffs investigating evidence authorities locally intercepted years ago. The grotesque animal dioramas composed of fox and the pier. Their connection is unknown. Damn, man, this game looks so good. Oh god, it's in, it's inverted. Crap. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, it's so dark too. I can't like see anything. Please, please don't let that thing come back. I need to get this open. It is really dark. So I'm going to have, I need to turn up some of the brightness here a little bit. I think it's going to be best. Uh, resolution. Let's see. Where is the brightness? There we go. All right. Until the symbol is barely visible. I don't see any. Because we're going to have to go pretty high. I don't know if that makes it any better. Oh God. My gosh, it's really dark. I like it though, but it just might be really hard for you guys. Okay, so how do we slow down? I can't. Oh, I'm on mouse and keyboard. I don't know how to slow down. Like, uh, because there's only one, one fixture of movement. If you're on a, a controller, so this game I think would be best to play on a controller probably, because of that. After this match, I'll probably switch to controller, would be my guess. What do I do with this? I don't know what this is. It might work on those doors. Okay. Alright, so they're already unlocked. Oh no, 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 no! Dang it, I just... I hit it at the wrong time. He's like hanging over there. This is probably going to get me dead. This is not a D and uh, Dead by Daylight clone. Come on. There's many ways to escape. Oh my god, already here? Whoa, I didn't even notice that was- I forgot! I I can't I'm dead. Oh my god, she's go she's hard to escape. Just a touch. Oh my god, that, that, that woman is hard to escape. Ah. Yep, I'm dead. Totally dead. I'm about to fall and die. Yep. My God, she's fast. Well, Strain didn't make it out. <laughs> wow. I th the reason I, I didn't think about it was because I thought that was a victim because I'd never seen her before. Dude, our first match was scary as hell. Let's just watch a little bit, just so I can kind of get my eyes used to the game again, because it was just really dark in there, and it's hard to see, but I think that's the point. I just want to make sure it's good for you guys. See, we're playing with people that's on the Xbox there. I don't, I'll tell you this. The game looks even better than it did in the technical test. The, f the fun thing is I'm actually playing it in uh, ultra wide so I see the I see even more than you guys do but I've narrowed the screen down which luckily the HUD is still all in 16 by 9 so it makes it possible for me to be able to stream or play this in ultra wide. Definitely going to switch over I think to I think this game is more enjoyable probably with uh, controller. 
So let me go ahead and invert the look. Wow, the lighting is really good. But the controller's going to be way better because you can slow your roll down when you're going against those bones. That way you don't cause noise. But I don't know the button for the keyboard version to... I think it's probably the control. Oh, wow. They already made it out. Look at that. Wow. See, they were focused on me and let everyone else escape. That's crazy. I like to think that I helped them escape, so I did my part. All right, leveled up. Uh, Robert, yes, I think the game is great, but you know, this is that was my first match, so and I was the only one that died. Everybody escaped but me. I was the only one <laughs> that that. that Oh my, because I had that woman. I mean, she was fast. Everywhere I went, she was catching up to me, man. That was crazy. It's the same genre of game. Um, I, I, I haven't played it enough to say if it's better than Friday the 13th. It's from the same team, so... I mean, it really just depends. Let's pick... She's got the best proficiency, and she's got the best, almost the best stealth. We're, we're, we'll stick with her. Yeah, Sissy seems to be very good because she stayed with me almost the entire time, and I couldn't, I couldn't leave. Um... Yeah. And so let me tell you the differences between this and, and Dead by Daylight. So Dead by Daylight's an awesome, fun game, you know. And the reason that its longevity has lasted this long is mainly because of the new characters that they're coming out with. You want to come, but you come back for the characters. You don't come back for the gameplay. The gameplay is so simple. It's do a generator and escape. Do a generator and escape. Find the find the manhole, escape. That's all it is. This is a little different. This is, there are multiple ways to escape. There is no generator you need to do. Your main objective is to escape, but there are multiple, upon multiple, there's at least three to four different ways to escape in every single match. All right. He's way over there, so we got some time. Oh. Oh. This might lead to the others. Damn, it's crazy. You gotta be slow with all these because you don't want to make the noise. Okay, this is where Leatherface started out. Now, we need to find the item in order to get out. We can sabotage this, though. Oh, but requires unlock tool.
I just heard him. Okay, we're, what we're looking for right now is a tool. I'm opening up all these, so that's going to make escaping easier. Move out of my way, I'm going to get another lockpick. Where is the lockpicks? So far, I have not found any any lockpicks. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Watch, I can actually move slow, and I don't have to worry about that. They've definitely changed the layout as far as where the hey, tools. I, open this door, bro. I don't know if he's talking to me or not. Okay, so they opened it up. Okay, stand still for a second. Okay. No! Oh, it lasts for a while. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Okay. It looks like we're making it. Shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Here he is. Oh my god, dude. He can come through, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm done. safe for now. How do I use my ability? I, I don't remember. Um, all right. Oh, smart guy. my stuff. There's going to be a lot of, a lot of learning curve again for me. Okay, but my health is so low right now. Uh, I gotta find something for the pain. Uh, 
How do I use the dang health? There we go. Okay. Woo. Sonny, you're here. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's not. Get out of the way, dude! You stupid idiot! Freaking moron was just standing right in my damn way. Oh my god, man. See, this is why you gotta play with people. Another place isn't even playing. Dude, I just can't. I can't do anything. Like these. Like they've made it significantly tougher, in my opinion. Okay. Okay. You got this. Like I. I could. I can't even go upstairs yet in my second match. That's how tough they've made this. No, no. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Just in time. Okay. Oh my god, dude, seriously? Everywhere I go, there's somebody. Uh. Oh my god, it went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I'll just accept it, Strain. You did. You did the rights. And I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are they gonna. Oh my god. They're idiots. Oh no. He found me. Did I just make it? How did he not see me? I hate how that makes so much noise. I have to find the others. I think it's prob- I don't think I can go. I can't remember if it's- yeah, it's on. Oh. 
Talk about crazy, man. Jeez. health again I don't need a toolbox I need freaking health they'll be back I'm sure of it I'm about to die so I mean it is what it is it's okay Are you kidding me? Nice! Oh, somehow we made it freaking out here. Wow. Woohoohoo, man. Alright, so I am literally the last one left. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, so... There's no way I'm going to be able to escape because because th our guys didn't do a dang thing. They didn't even open up this door. Open. So there's really nothing I can do. So I'm just going to wait, chill here, and then head back down. I'm going to make them have to work the entire match to get me. That's going to be my thing. See, they know where I am, so here they come. So I'm going to make them come towards me. There he goes. He's coming through now. Hi. Come and get me. Come on and get me. <laughs> Come and get me, little boy. There you go. Come and get me. Now, if I was able to find another health, this would be great, but... I'm dead. It really doesn't matter. I'm literally about to die, and the generator is not here. So, I'm just trying to not be found. But this is going to be really hard. I'm literally about to just fall over and die right now. Yeah. <laughs> My health was so low, I didn't have any health. It's fine. We, like I said, they've made it much, much tougher to, I think, survive. Even though our first match, three people survived. I think they've made it tougher. Man, I'm telling you, my, my nerves, my heart was just, like, going crazy. Don't forget to leave a like if you're enjoying the gameplay.
Woo. We survived a pretty long time. They didn't forget about the generator. What gen, uh, the the generator? Once it's on, then that's it. See, all you got to do is if if you look straight ahead and you see that that little gate is red, then you know the generator's on. If it's green, then it's off. And I will tell you that most of the time, um, it's on. Because actually, I believe yeah, they changed it. So. In the technical test, you had the the family had to turn the generator on. In th in the actual released game, because I saw the differences between them, uh, the generator is automatically on. So, all right. So we should have got some loadouts now. Here we go. So this is the loadout screen. Here you can create and save different loadouts for each character. So we can get perks for different things. Each character has access to different abilities. There are lots of ways to build a character, experiment, and try out different combinations of ability perks. And Okay, I think we get the gist of it. Um, so we can modify her focus. So, okay, let me, let, me, let me explain some of these perks. So for this specific character, she has an ability called Focused. That allows us to easily open the metal doors. It doesn't mean that we can open them silently. It just means that we're easily able to open them. Um, <laughs> some guy said you're nothing but a moron. That's why you lost. <laughs> sure, buddy. I'll acknowledge you. That'll help you sleep at night. Um, this because okay. So then we got the skill tree. So this is something we've never dived into. So you can modify what what this is. Uh, but what do you need to do this? You need XP. Okay. So right now we're. We need 3,600 XP. Yes, you can hurt the grandfather as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's really no no point in doing that right now. And then cosmetics. We did unlock outfits, but there's still other outfits you can unlock. Uh, okay, loadouts. Here we go. So we got attributes that we can add, but we don't have any to be able to. I guess we'll, we'll actually be able to up her toughness, her endurance. That's pretty cool. I do like that. Uh, modify focus. There's nothing we can do right now because we need 3,600 XP to do it. So we can't do anything just yet, even though we've unlocked it, but we will be able to. All right. It's time to play as the family. So my first two matches as um, as victims did not go according to plan, but I did survive a lot longer in the second match. I imagine there's going to be some difficulty finding matches here in the beginning, server issues, things like that, but I'm sure it'll ramp up and be better. Alright, so I want to try out this new sissy character. So her savagery is low, her blood harvesting is high, she's a drug fueled, she's an enigmatic from this group, um... I don't know exactly what her abilities are because we didn't take a look at the tutorial for her. So we'll just kind of get to know her, I guess, a little bit uh, as the game goes on. It looks like you can actually do loadouts for uh, the killers as well. Blood harvesting. Your damage is increased by 10% when carrying a full... Oh, okay. Universal donor. Blood collected from buckets is increased by 20%. Blood clouts of poison in the path of victims to block their paths or lace their useful items. Oh, gotcha. That's cool. Alright, well, if no one is going to be freaking Leatherface, then someone's got to be Leatherface. So I'll do, I'll be Leatherface. You can't play Texas Chainsaw Massacre without one of your guys being Leatherface. Come on. I hope you guys like the stream setup for when we're chatting and kind of waiting for matches to happen. That way you guys can see the chat if you don't really 
want to look at it on your phones or something, it shows up on the screen. I've, I've tried to make that um, intuitive or whatever and make it fun. I'm going to go ahead and ready up. And also, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps the channel. We're going to be doing a lot of these streams. So... This is a game we're heavily going to be streaming for the next few weeks, obviously, until... And still streaming after that, um, until uh, uh, Starfield comes out, which is coming out in just about two weeks. Alright, so it looks like, unfortunately, we weren't able to get another one. So now it's only going to be two on two. Oh, like I said, there's going to be issues, I'm sure, here at the very beginning. I do like how XP is kind of it's not XP per character. It's just your XP overall. Instead of doing individual characters, but maybe they should have done XP for individual characters because then. It make you it force you to play a lot more, although that could be considered grindy, but I don't think so. I mean, this game in general is a grindy game. That's the purpose of an asymmetric horror game. It's it's grind. You, you're going to do matches over and over and over and over again. Looks like we're doing the slaughterhouse this time. There are new maps that we haven't checked out yet, so I can't wait to see those. Oh, come on. This is not going to be a very fair. There we go. So remember, Leatherface, he can't go through the small gaps to chase. Only the cook can do that, and I, I guess Sissy can do that too. Probably the smaller type of characters. All right. Almost ready. As long as no one quits on us. Let's have a good match, everybody, and uh, try to stay safe. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. I heard she won't be in the sequel. turn it on until I see them because it makes noise button you press I'm guessing it's X what button do you press to swing them I'm so confused right now what button do you press to freaking to swing at them 
I can rev chainsaw, stop Saint Chaw with RB. There it is. Sheesh. It's so dark, I can barely see right now. Like, it's almost too dark. Dude, it's so hard to see. I'm going to have to turn the brightness up even more or something. Yeah, I can't get him. Can't go through there. so dark to see. Got him. I'm sorry, it's just so dark. I've got to turn this thing like all the way up. And still, that didn't even really, that didn't make a difference at all. They need to fix their calibration as far as as far as this stuff goes, because it's, it's, it's so dark. The game is so dark. I don't know if you guys are getting that sense as well. There's three done. Thank you, man. Hey, I think that's pretty much it. I think we got them all. We gotta turn this in. Boa, thank you so much for the membership for 30 months. Alright, I'm looking for one more guy. Always look for if doors, if specific doors are open or not. He's left. Just one person left. Unlock and open, so they're not in there.
locking open, so they're not in there. What about this door? Does that door look open? I can't tell from this side, and you can't jump over. I can destroy these things, though. That way they can't use them to escape. Alright. It just says, it does say you can open. I gotta look. So let me open this. I gotta see if this is locked. If this is locked, then we know we're good. Unlock and open, so we're good. Eventually, we're going to get Grandpa high enough to where we'll know exactly where the enemy is. She is crazy. I can... Oh my god. I'm already like so terrified of her. Hey, Boa. Okay, found him. <sighs> hey, they're in here with Leatherface. Find Leatherface. Success. Congratulations, everybody. We did it. Like I said, in the beginning, it's going to be much easier for the um, for the family to win. So we got a new unlockable. Uh, we're okay. I see almost to get some more stuff here. Not bad. Three killed. That's what I call a successful match. It's going to be a while, I think, before the victims really, really start to figure out everything again. And there's going to be a lot of people playing the game for the first time that weren't involved in the technical test. So you got to take everything with a grain of salt uh, the first few days. So what's everybody up to this weekend? Let me know your plans in the comments. What are you going to do? So I just watched uh, my Browns tie the the Eagles last night. I was a little upset because our kicker, Cade York, uh, missed two opportunities to win the game, uh, which has been kind of the, the storyline of the season so far, of the preseason. I know it's just preseason and everything, but 
Supplied credentials are invalid. I have no idea what the heck that means. Let's try again. So hopefully, you know, he can figure all this this out. You know, from what I've seen, kicking in Cleveland is something is just weird. I think he need, what he needs to do is spend time at the stadium and just kick in the stadium over and over and over again. Like take a day. He was three for four last night in kicking. But he had two opportunities to hit a 47 and 41 yarder because there was a pen penalty and he missed them both. I mean, when uh, when you get a gift like that to re-kick and then you miss it in the opposite direction, you miss the first one, you got to think about, is kicking really, uh, you know, the job I want to pursue? Ooh, nice. Going to play some BG3. Can't seem to get into a match just yet. Yeah, we keep getting the hmm, network error. Let's try victim again then. Maybe we'll find one victim. Ooh, you're at a Star Trek convention. Convention, That's awesome. Are you a Trekkie? I've never been to a... Wow, okay. What do you say we exit the game and then we're going to bring it back up? Just to see what's going on here. work last night well I'm, I'm glad your work is over now man you can relax could be having some server issues Yeah, something must be going on. Because um, <clears throat> it doesn't seem to be connecting the matches anymore. There we go. That's what I like to see. Uh. A player's requested a character swap, laser face cook. Sure. I'll let them. Let me, I want to, because I want to try sissy. I'm a nice guy. So have you, um, since you say you're a huge Trekkie, have you been checking out the new uh, Strange Worlds or um, the new prequel, I guess you could say, to the uh, original series? I haven't been able to check it out yet. I've been wanting to, but I'm so lost as where I need to go. I guess you don't need to watch anything else when you're watching that since it's technically a prequel. But I feel like I got to watch Discovery before I watch Strange New Worlds because I don't want to be lost of what's going on because I know Pike was in Discovery. All right, so this is my first time as playing this new character. I don't know exactly what she can do yet, so we'll find out when we get in there. And we're doing a new map called Gas Station.
County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search into the nearby Marlow and Chinatown will unearth the police. Family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding the All right, here we go. Before this is over. <laughs> Brand new character. I, I can't get over how just good this game does really look. All right, turn on. I don't know this map, so I might not do as good. Okay, now you can see that turned from green to red. Okay, I think you can put out stuff. So, I'll sit here. Here we go. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, there we got one down. Is this another exit? Another? Oh, I see. This is how... I need to open this up so I can get over here, shut it, and then I can lock it back. Oh, nope. Sorry. Uh, eight a lot. Okay, let's check out this new house here. Collect powder. Hmm. What's the powder do? Powder, I guess, okay, powder gives us the ability to use the... So she can fit through these things, so now we know. 100%. Oh my god, is that not creepy? Just a touch. I'm not going down there yet. I'm gonna leave Leatherface to get as many as he can. I mean, that's the purpose of Leatherface to do what he's got to do. But let him do it. Oh, I can be stealthy too with her. That's awesome. So it looks like the powder doesn't last very long because the powder is already gone here. When you see the children, X's on their head. If you dare to look at them, soon you will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that not scary? She freaks me out already. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to open up the downstairs and have give them the ability to come up. Oh, you can latch. There you go. Come through. Ooh, hello. Hey, don't go down here. They're right there. I see them.
I'm gonna go ahead and go down. Screw it. Buddy, come back. I just wanted to play. I don't know this map enough to know what I can get around and what I can't. Get. went down there. All right, so I like this map so far. I just got to get used to it. I, I don't know... Don't know where everything is quite yet. But they were able to get the best of me there. Smartest move. What the hell? Why did What the hell just happened there? Based off of how much uh, stamina you have, I guess. Oh, sugar. Does that hurt? Oh. <laughs> Dang. All right, where is Grandpa? I got to go find Grandpa because I need... Let's close this back up. We don't want people coming over here. This is a way to escape. So I'm going to shut this um, gate again. Oh, but we can't lock it. We need to cook. Let me go ahead and go over here. And give some of this love to Grandpa. Because we're not... No one's done anything for Grandpa. Oh, that's good, ain't it? There, there. It, it's all right, Grandpa. And there's still two people left. Okay, 
Grandpa? Here. Drink this. Dude, he disconnected? It's just me and him? Oh, no wonder. Shit, I better get over there. I don't think we're gonna be able to win this with just two people? If this gate is open, then I know they're back over here and it's not. Okay. So I got some more. They'll be loving me soon enough. I'll stay up here since he's going to be down there. I don't know this map well enough to know. Uh, really, I'm just kind of guarding this section here to make sure they don't open it up and get over there. That's about all I can really do. got away. It was only two of us. We did good, so I'll take it. What do you say we go back to being a victim? I'm going to try to give you guys both directions of what you can do. I really, really hope that this game sells well and does good. Because these games can be so fun, especially on a Friday night. You want to just chill with your friends online and just play, you know, play some asymmetric survival horror, you know? Let's do this. Exactly, it's a good stress reliever. And then, then again, all games are good stress relievers, which is why it's so hard for me to play horror games because um, it's hard for me to relieve stress when I'm so anxious because I don't want to die. <laughs> you know, which is why I've always found horror movies and horror games 
to be a, quite an, an anomaly when it comes to doing something to help you relax. Because all it does is just pump up my blood and make make it less relaxing. But some some people really really enjoy that um, that feeling. Ooh, gas station at night. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. This will be my first time seeing the below. I never went below. I hope to have a new episode of Rainbow Six Vegas 2 out this weekend. Those take quite a while to make because you got to learn the level, go through, be able to, you know, explain everything that you can. So I will have a new episode for Rainbow Six Vegas 2 out this weekend. That is my goal. I hope you're well too, Angry. Uh, any difference from the technical test? Yes, there is some difference. It's much, much more difficult now for the victims, in my opinion. Um, and it could just be because, you know, these are my first few matches or whatever, but it definitely feels way more difficult. Um, Grandpa now is so much easier to detect you because you don't really fully, you don't, you can't fully grasp how long it takes before you can start moving again. So... Um, that's kind of added a little bit of a challenge. Um, the game is very dark, which makes it hard to see. But that could just be my monitor. All right, here we go. continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen... You guys want to know what I'm using to actually control my OBS? I'm using the Gamer Nexus, live streamer Nexus, from Aver Media. It's freaking amazing, and I absolutely love it. It controls my audio, it controls all the games that I play, and I can have full control over everything that I'm doing. And... I swear by this thing. I wish I would have got it so much sooner. That's called pure skill right there. I don't know if anybody knew that. What's that? You don't really need the bone scraps in my opinion because this is what you can easily do. Okay, so I'm gonna help. I think this is what we use back home. This should help. Okay, so this is the electric gate. So we can't escape from the electric gate, unfortunately. You can, but you have to do the necessary steps. You have to get the fuse box. All right, someone's already opened up. All right. Gotta stay still. You gotta wait until that sound is completely done.
so I'm waiting because this noise lets everyone know where we are. So I'm giving it a little bit of a second so that the enemies don't know anybody's around this area anymore. See what I mean? Give it a second. Okay. Should have enough time now. I think ever they would be kind of out of the area a little bit. Oh, the nighttime setting is great. Okay, I don't know this area, so I'm just searching, taking my time. Please don't let that thing come back. a dumb move. Seem oh, that was dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Hello. <laughs> we we'll right into this. Sorry, but. Jeez, what can I do, man? I'm, I don't know the level enough. Oh. I've seen better days. That did not go according to plan. That was terrifying. I like to watch the end of the matches because it helps me to be able to strategize and do better because you can find some really good players out there.
Oh, a Mortal Kombat beta? I might have to pre-order that. You know I'm going to get it, but see, I never know if I'm going to get a game from the developers or not, so... I really, really wish I could have got uh, Starfield a little early. I'm going to be able to get a free copy of it, but I'm not going to be able to get the copy until launch day. Wow, she really did not see see him there. That's amazing. I love that. And she did she did um, put a trap on that thing there, so. Sorry, Bo, a Nightbot gets a little uh caption happy. Keep still, buddy. Oh, he didn't see him. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. It'd be so easy because you look like you're, you're standing out like a sore thumb, but I guess you're really covered in that grass. You should have easily been able to see him if you think about it, but I, th I love that. To know that you just walked by a guy and not even know it. The beta is running from the 18th through the 22nd. Okay, so are, are people playing it right now? Because if they are, then I might pre-order it today and play the beta. Let me know, Shannon. And I might stream it. Oh my god, that was so close. Another one just passed him by. Thank god that just moving your camera doesn't cause you, your character to move. He's got a pretty good ability right there. He's able to see... Where the enemies are. They're just going to keep filling the bags, so he does need to do something. Eventually, it's going to get to the point where you can't hide. Yeah, keep me posted, bud. Hi, Ella. There's my little girl coming in to say hi. Hi, pretty. You looking at yourself in the mirror? That pretty mirror? Yeah, you looking at yourself in the mirror? Here, Ella. He's already at level four, so. Any Merkins fans in the chat? Hell yeah! I'm a Merkins fan. You can have a drink. Hell yeah, man. They've got some of the greatest music videos ever. Freaking Freddy and Jason all. All uh, doing music videos to Backstreet Boys. <laughs> now, I got some friends that I know are going to be playing this game. I'm going to try to hook up with them at some point over the next few days. And see if they want to um, play together. Other content like creator, streamer guys. I think that'd be really fun. You're doing a great job, buddy. I believe in you. You can do it. Use the force. They saw you. They saw you. Get it. Run. 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 <laughs> he gone.
All right. We're getting up there with some perks almost. Like I said, it is quite, quite difficult, I think, to escape as a victim so far. <laughs> I think my chains are sexy. <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. And I like friends with no faces. So far, the matchmaking system hasn't been the best getting into matches. Yeah, see how long this is taking? I mean, it shouldn't take this long. It's probably going to give me another error again. This is a good opportunity to uh, thank all of our members and patrons that make it possible for me to do these live streams and play these games and get these games early. Without all of you, I don't think I'd be able to do this. So I want to give a big shout out to all of the members, patrons, and all that. And if you do like the content you see and you want to leave a little tip anywhere, a dollar, it, it all adds up so much and it helps pay the bills and just keep the channel running. So let's give a shout out to all of our members and uh, patrons. Alright, so I think everybody's in here, yep. Ready to go. I just need to get some people to re yep. I've been playing as this Connie for a while. I might change it up. I'm going to go as her as Anna. Here we go, I like that. Okay. Change it up a little bit here. Let's go with Anna. Ooh, family house at night. I think one thing I wish that we could approve on this channel was getting people somehow 
getting people to talk more, like getting people to chat more. You know, there's a lot of people that watch and I think they just kind of watch it um, and they just don't they don't say hi or anything like that. They don't communicate. They don't talk with us. I wish we could find a way to get more people interested in, you know, talking. Thanks for subscribing, Roberto. I appreciate it, bud. All right, so this, she's going to take much, much more. But honestly, at the beginning, it really doesn't matter how much noise you make. Perfect perk. Look at that. I can see where the tools are. See how long this takes for everybody else. Oh, my God, open the door. Eighteenth or twenty-first, or pre-order only over the weekend ahead of. But you need a code to play it too. What? I'm confused. Angry. Could I literally pre-order right now and be able to play it? Because it's the eighteenth. So let me know. What is her ability? I don't know what. I don't know what that was right there.
Okay. Totally working now. All right, so I'm gonna uh, after this stream, I'm gonna I guess preload it and um, check it out. Think, think. What do I do? What do I do? Either these guys are stupid or I, and I'm about ready to make my escape. Because that's unlocked. Grandpa immobilized? Oh, wow. It's locked. Oh my god, we need an unlock tool. Dang it. Good news is it's unlocked. In God's name, what is this place? There's one. Brit, showing your appreciation. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to Brit. Remember, guys, there's also the link in the description that you can donate to that allows me to receive everything as opposed to um, YouTube getting a little bit. So um, I would always recommend to use that. But if you uh, want to use Super Chats, those are fine as well. So thank you so much. Thanks, Brit. All right, let's do this. Shit. Oh, Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have escaped. Come on, Nana. You can do it. We freaking did it. What do you say we have a little fun with them? All three of them are over there. Am I the only one left? No, all three of us are left. Oh no, I'm the only one left. That's right. Yeah. I might as well. I don't know. Should I play with them or not? Hey, baby. I'm not sure if I should play with them or not. It's so easy to escape right now. They have just, they have no idea, man. Oh, thank you, honey. I... Oh, you want one? Okay. I'm not even playing right now. I'm opening up a Starburst for my child. Hold on, let me see how I can get this, baby. Here you go, enjoy. Yummy. Go ahead. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and go because I'm not going to, I don't want to waste everybody's time. I would play with them, but they're all the way over there and it would take forever. Success. That is how you escape, ladies and gents. Our first escape. Nice. They all worked together as a team and escaped. I kind of went on my own there. Yeah, so I'm going to pre-order Mortal Kombat 1 just so I can play a little bit of that and stream it for you guys. So we might have a stream later after this stream for uh, Mortal Kombat 1. So keep a, keep a lookout for that. You have to remember, guys, the you're going to get the most out of this game right here if you're playing with friends and people you like. If you're playing solo, this game, just like any asymmetrical horror game, will get tiring after a while because you literally are doing the same thing every match. Your whole point is to escape. There is no other point to the game. It's either to escape or it's to kill. So because of that aspect of, of how closed in the loop is, Playing with friends is going to be your best option to really, really, really enjoy this game. So I do plan on playing this with some, um, with some friends. Hey, Kimmy, thank you. Kimmy Queen with the tip, $5 tip. Thank you so much. Hopefully you're doing well, Kimmy. Remember guys, we are going to be streaming a lot in September. September is going to be... September is going to be crazy with streams, okay? Um, very, very crazy. With Starfield and all the other games that are starting to come out, October is going to be freaking crazy. You've got Assassin's Creed Mirage. You know we're going to play the heck out of that. Um, the players requested a character swap. Yeah, I, I don't care to do that. I mean, I, I want to try every character, and I like to make people happy and not want to leave, so sure. Uh, who can I be? Let's check out Sunny. It sometimes takes two to three minutes to take you to a match. Yeah, you just got to remember that servers are still being worked and, um, you know, they'll have those things ironed out. Obviously, launch days for any game, is, especially that requires online, is uh, always going to be a challenge. Just look at uh, what um, freaking Madden did. I mean, Madden was horrible on launch day, like absolutely ab abysmal because so many people jump in to play it every single year. Ella, be careful, baby. Gotta be careful. High five? Give me high five. High five. Yeah. You want to say hello? You already got one. Yeah, you want to say hello? Want to say hello? Say hello. Hello. I don't know if you guys heard her say. Uh, uh, say hello. Uh, say hello. 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 You already got some in your mouth, honey. She's got two Starbursts in her mouth, and she's already wanting me to give her another one. I'm like, woman, what are you thinking? 
Yes, uh, MK1 will most likely be a lot of demonetization. Um, I don't know. Maybe they've relaxed a little bit for that. We're going to see. You know, you don't know. And I'm going to play it regardless. I'm going to do the story. Um, I think the story has less chance of being demonetized because in the story, there's not fatalities. Um, whereas the fatalities, those are usually the ones, or even the x-rays sometimes, but you don't always have to do the x-rays and you don't always have to do the fatalities. Jared Gaines wasn't sure what he was expecting when he discovered a burnt out truck on his back 40 this morning. Gaines was patrolling the perimeter of his lab just after sunrise when he saw the truck in the distance. It was apparent that the truck was damaged from a distance, but closer inspection led Gaines to find the charred remains. Driver seat and a large bag filled with money. So there used to be a tool back here. Hey, Spooky, how you doing? It's going pretty good. I hope you're doing well. I had to slow down my roll a little bit. See, there he is. Calm down a little bit. Uh, one kill, two left. Hey, hon, your mom just called me. I still hear him. It's kind of slowing my roll a little bit. Like, you know, let him kind of look around. He's over there. He's just kind of chilling right there. Hi, baby.
I don't know this map well enough to remember exactly where. See where this leads. Okay, this is going to be so difficult. First of all, I only have health. I've got to find my friends. Keep it together, man. Yeah, the game's out already. Shit. I'm screwed. I got all three guys in here.
my gosh. It's so exhilarating. thing that sucks I tried guys I don't know if he knew I was there I don't know if he knew I was there or what because he just stood there he could have easily just killed me there right Leatherface was there too I mean, we survived quite a bit, so, but it was three against one. What could we do? I mean, that was tough. I'm, I'm happy with how long I was. Look at the points I got. I was happy. I was happy. I mean, I, 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 I wish, I wish you could stay in there and you could just be quiet and stay in there. But it seems like when they're that close, the, your nerves eventually get to you in the game and then it forces you out. Nobody actually forced me out. I don't think they knew I was in there at all. And this is why I say that because nobody dragged me out. So because of that, when people are that close to you and you're in a hiding spot like that, your nerves start to go off and then eventually you jump out because you're so scared. That's kind of stupid because in a real situation and you're hiding, you're not going to jump out because your nerves are too whatever. You're going to, you know, probably stay in there, look in the other direction or something. It doesn't make sense to jump out. But if you're there too long and an enemy is around for too long a period of time, that's what happens. Yeah, definitely uh, alien isolation vibes there. Uh, okay, let's go back to customization here. Um, I did like playing as Sunny, so let's take a look at Sunny. And go with loads out. So Sonny has a really good ability. He's got the detect noise made by anyone nearby, pinpointing their location and tracking their movements. So anyone that is literally close to you, it doesn't matter if it's friendly or enemy, will show up here. Um, so I do like that. Then we also have this ability, which is holding a key item, fuse or the valve highlights the location it can be used for 40 seconds. I don't really care I guess too much about that one I think I do like this one because after escaping restraints the very beginning of the match you'll be able to know exactly where a tool set is and a tool set is required to get out so I think that one's the better one to have so after unlocking a door the door stay highlighted for all victims for 30 seconds if you're working with a team that's a good thing uh, holding a key item. We're going to go with that one. After escaping your restraints in the basements, the basement exits are highlighted. Okay. Um, all the other ones are locked. I don't know necessarily how to unlock them, so... I guess we'll just keep it at that. Load out one. Okay, let's take a look at our skill tree. We do. We have a new SO. Ooh, we have a few items here. Um, okay. Detect noise. That's his normal ability. Unfortunately, we don't have it leveled up enough, as you can see with him, to get to the next one. However, we have Am I Bleeding? When your health is below 10%, you are highlighted to all fellow victims. Yeah, but that's only if people that you're playing with are actually good <laughs> uh, teammates and they'll want to help you. Uh, let's see. While using an unlock tool, the door or gate you're attempting to open will be highlighted for all victims. The effect will last for 10 seconds. I think that's a good one. Uh, we just got an achievement called Running, Jumping, Climbing Trees. I think that's a good one. So it looks like we got to go on this path. Um... Let's see here. Award an extra attribute point to add in your character's loadout. Hmm. 
One meter? Jeez. Uh, let's see. Awards and extra attribute points. Sure. All right, so we got one attribute point. What do we want to do? Um, let's take a look at Okay, toughness influences the victim's survivability rate, determining maximum health and in incapacitation recovery time. Endurance determines the victim's total stamina. Along, I've got good stamina right now. Strength. Strength affects how long family members are stunned from sneak attacks. Overall grappling effectiveness and the difficulty of performing tasks such as opening crawl spaces or disabling generators. Proficiency determines how quickly victims can complete skilled environmental actions as lockpicking, item gathering. That's probably something we want to get up. Stealth means the ability to perform various stealth silences determined by the noise meter. Okay, let's go with this one. And cosmetically. Let's give him the storm shirt. Okay. Here we go. We did some loadout. Nice. Let's jump back in. I like playing as the victims actually quite a bit because it's not, it's not a mode that you can win all the time. It's a very difficult mode and to me challenge, I love a good challenge. So playing as victims to me so far, I believe is better. See how long this takes us. Now I I like Dead by Daylight, but I I'm just I wish they they had more because just doing generators over and over again can get really tiresome. This one feels like you know you're not always generators are the key to getting out. The key to getting out is just being silent and escaping and finding a way to do that. You you can do that in Dead by Daylight, but you have to get the generators, right? So you're always at a generator doing generator stuff. So for me, Dead by Daylight wasn't as compelling as Friday the 13th because there was different things you can do in that game besides you can escape from the car, you can escape from the boat, you can escape by calling the cops, you can bring in an extra player, Tommy Jarvis. I mean, it was just so good gameplay. And that's why I like this style, I think, more than Dead by Daylight. Yes, Dead by Daylight has long term because they keep adding new characters and they keep getting the rights to those new characters. That's what's keeping people playing. But as you can see, yeah, it does take quite a bit to get into a match here. Hopefully they'll, they'll kind of narrow that down a little bit. I hope you guys are enjoying. I think maybe for some of these streams, I need to have extra gameplay showing during these kind of null parts where we're like literally waiting for matches and stuff. I think that's what a lot of good content creators do when they're streaming is they have something going on all the time. Whereas in these moments here where there's it can get very boring, a lot of people's uh, attention spans will run out and they'll just leave and go do something else. 
if we can figure out a way to keep them by having like one of our previous matches play or something or have like a highlights reel or something like that. I think that will add uh, to the enjoyment of the stream. Do you guys think that's a good idea? Let me know. Yeah, servers are under heavy load, of course. Yeah, play clips for sure. Now I can either be clips of the game. I can like um, get a few matches recorded and have those play during these low moments or maybe something else entirely. Um, just to get people like wanting to chat more blooper reels. Yeah, I'm not very good at coming up with blooper reels, though. There's still so much I could learn and do better at, you know. Maybe like a game time kind of deal. I'm not sure what that means. What game time? Is that like a, a, a channel that does stuff or I don't know what that is. Oh, we want this whole four minutes and no matches. Come on, game. Throw me a freaking bone here. Oh, the server's down or something? Look at this. You see this right here? There we go. Yes, playing as victims gives you a sense of achievement when you're escaping. I think playing as Letterface is, me is merely for the nostalgia. Of being the ones to wreck to wreck their day because you should you can still get a good feeling of accomplishment when you're able to take someone out right but yes you're right you get way more feeling of accomplishment when you're able to escape because that's significantly tougher than it is for a family to kill the victim if we can get into a match here guys yeah the chat usually does start to boom whenever you start playing okay let's switch it up and let's do family and see if that's the reason why maybe most people are wanting to play as victims let's hear let's just do a quick match that way it'll join with whoever I guess this this means that the servers are reloading or something like that let's just do a quick match and see if we can get in You also got to remember this is the first time they're trying out crossplay, so. I really do hope all of you have been enjoying it. It's been my pleasure to bring this stream to you, and we're going to be doing more streams on this game, of course, as well, so stay tuned for those. The, uh, the content on the channel is going to be really, really picking up here. Because it's game season.
Any plans for more high on life? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I never meant for that to be a, uh, a whole let's play. It was just a stream to check out the game. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be doing any more videos on high on life. Although, I mean, the game obviously is really cool. Even though there's a lot of backlash going on with the creator, of course. But, you know, I try not to let those types of things influence what I like because I'm I'm there to enjoy a video game. I'm not here to to care about the, the person behind that's making it, which is a very controversy thing to say, I guess. Um, but it's like if I did that, then literally there would be no movie. There would be no because everybody is a bad person. You can't sit here and tell me that any of you out there haven't done something wrong in your life. It doesn't matter how small it is or how big it is. We're all humans. We all make mistakes, but I'm able to essentially separate the, the medium of, of what I'm watching or playing to the person that could have created it because not one person is creating something, right? Multiple people are. So that guy, even though he came up with the thing, his voice is in the game or whatever, he is one person. I, I mean, hundreds of people made that game. So in me choosing not to support that game or not to play that game because of him means that I am screwing all those other people out that spend their hard-earned time and life to create such game. You know what I mean? It's not a beta. It's, yeah, Nick, it's just uh, I think the servers are just bombarded. And it's just having a hard time finding matches, it looks like. This is the full release. There we go. It says loading. Yes! It took us out. Took us in and then back out. Sure, that was just right. We literally almost got in. It was so close. I could feel it. It was like... It's like right... It's like telling me. Strain. Do it. You can feel it. It's right there. Come on. Just get into the match. You can do it. We're going to try one more time, guys. I'll wait probably just another minute. Now remember, this is in quick play, so this means this is searching both family and victims. It seems like we're not going to be able to get a match here. I mean, we've been trying now for the past 10 minutes. So I think I'm going to stop this stream here for the first stream for... Give it a little time. Maybe we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, but uh, maybe I might uh, try to see if I can do some Mortal Kombat. So stay tuned for that at some point. But yes, first stream is done for this. Thank you to Kimmy for the donation. Um, as well as thank you to Britt for the donation. Uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you for helping me keep this channel alive. Uh, thank you to all the members that resubscribed. Um, thank you just to everybody out there that supports the channel. Make sure you leave a like before you leave. It really, really helps keep the channel going as strong as it can. So, love you all. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next stream.